Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlotte and this is the daily where we talk all things skincare, fashion, fitness, and nutrition for women over 40. I am on a braces journey. <laughs> When I initially uh, decided to get braces, I wanted to go for the traditional brackets and um, I did so. Uh, my thought behind that was um, I wanted to make sure that I kept those braces on. I could just keep them on and not, not put them on because it can actually set you back so much if you don't wear your aligners as much as needed. So I thought, well, brackets would be the best way to go. My projected time for wearing them initially was um, 10 to 12 months, a little over two years, I guess, later. I did get my brackets off very, very recently, as you can see. However, I'm not finished with my braces journey. I will be getting aligners on. I will be getting Invisalign on, on Tuesday. So what my orthodontist wants to do is finesse the rest of my straightening journey. Now, I didn't anticipate this at all. I did. I went in initially for a couple of crooked bottoms. That's what I initially went in for because I felt like, I don't know, the older I got, the more my bottoms were crooked and just kept kind of um, pushed back. So all of my teeth were pushing back and I guess that's called the deep bite. I discovered that my teeth were chipping along the way because they were kind of like just, you know, banging up against each other. So um, I actually needed braces on top and bottom. It doesn't work that way. You just don't go in and get a few little brackets on the bottom to straighten things out. That's just not the way it works. However, I never thought I needed braces. And um, after the fact, um, I know that I did, especially because they were kind of being pushed back. Um, anyway, so that's what's happening. I am going to um, just include a little bit of footage because I think that's always fun. It's always nice to kind of see just exactly what they do when you sit in the chair. And I just, I wanna share it with you guys because I want you to know exactly what you're in for. Just know that typically if they give you a projected time, it's not always the case. So just know that, you know, things can change up a little bit and you may need to wear them longer than expected or or initially anticipated. So I'm gonna put in a little footage here showing you how they're taking off my brackets, which is a very happy day. I love the fact that I don't have brackets now. And now I loved having braces. It didn't really bother me. I really had a good time wearing braces. I thought they were cute. It really didn't bother me that bad. You know, I didn't have a lot of pain with them. Just, I mean, a few little minor things here and there, but really very bearable. Um, but getting the brackets off and being able to floss my teeth really, really good and not having to like weave the floss in and out of my braces and just in general being able to smile and my tooth not getting caught up on my braces and that was kind of awkward. Um, it just feels really good to have the brackets out. Okay, so um, I'm going to put in a little footage here showing you how they're taking the brackets off and um, well, here it is. Bite down on this cotton for me, and I'm just gonna just slightly just hang on to this. Sometimes they come off super quickly, and sometimes they're kind of firm. So I'll scoot this over, bite down again, and we just kind of put a little pressure, and the bracket usually just like, see, it comes right off. Ah! Yeah, we're gonna scoot to the next tooth, bite down. Yeah, let me try that. Oh, thank you. And some of them, they just fracture, so. I'm mm. oh, sorry, sorry. You okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not hurting you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of. <laughs> and open. <laughs> Play down. See, and then some of them I have to like cut them off. Thank you, ma'am. And open. Bite down again. And then we'll smooth off um, all of that composite mm -hmm. that's just stuck on the tooth. Bite down again. Yeah. Mm. You okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, your laterals are really on there. Bite down. Okay, now bite down. There we go. I just like squeeze them and they just pop off. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get these uh, laterals to pop off. Okay. Hold on. It's cotton's in my way. Bite down again. 
Okay, perfect. Hmm. Where's Charlotte? Yeah, right there. Almost half of the bracket. There we go. Okay. And the rest is just composite. Okay, let's smooth that off. Ah, oh. it was fine. It was just, I think it, you it were feels just, like my teeth are going to break or something. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not. They're not right. Oh. Oh, you already got them? Okay, close together. Perfect, end open. Are you left handed or right Is that okay, Charlotte? Uh huh. So I have a little vibration, but I just want to remove like, the bracket from then. So it's something really fun that's going to happen. Is yeah. See how there's a gap right there? Yeah. So is it okay with you that I bond it and close it? Yeah. And so bonding is just like you're getting a white filling, right? Uh -huh. I don't have to reduce your tooth. I'm just going to add to it to create a wider tooth. Ah. Isn't that like a space? Uh-huh. Can you see it? Okay. So, yep. And so we just add to it and then it fills in the space because that tooth is very skinny compared to this one. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to do edge primer and bond, all the normal things we would bond, like if you're putting the brackets on, right? Okay, I forgot to tell you about this part where she added to one of my teeth to make it the same size and shape as the tooth on the other side, which again was no extra cost to me. I have the best ortho team for sure. Um, this was a painless process and the same prep putting a bracket on. So I just wanted to show you that my camera stopped and I'm sorry you missed this, but it turned out really, really nice. Okay, so after I got the brackets taken off, I knew that I was going to whiten my teeth. I basically had a couple of options. Um, I could either whiten in the chair or whiten at home, or I could do both to keep up the white. Um, keep in mind, I'm a coffee drinker, and if you whiten your teeth, it's very necessary to drink for the first three days from a straw. If you eat blueberries, if you drink wine, if you do anything that can kind of cause staining on your teeth, then you're gonna to wanna to drink out of a straw. You're going to want to omit things that will cause any kind of staining up to three days after you whiten just because your teeth are porous and they are still um, open, if you will. What I decided to do was I got the Glow Pro system and this is what it looks like. It's got a little charger on the back and you keep it plugged in. And what you do is, well, first of all, I got the professional whitening. I sat in the chair for eight minutes and then they do it again for another eight minutes. And then I think they do it one more time for eight minutes. Um, and then they sent me home with this Glow Pro, which I opted in for because I wanna make sure that if I wanna whiten at home, I can. It has a light on it, so you keep it plugged in. There's where you plug it in right there. And this is what it looks like. It comes in this little case and it looks just like this. This is so nice because what you do is it comes with, um, I don't know, let's see, five little vials of bleach. And this is what it looks like, just like that. There's this little um, balm here. It's like a glow lip balm. And what you do is you put this all over your lips and on the inside of your lips, just to kind of Help it not to like burn your or make sensitive your lips or the soft tissue inside your mouth. And then what you do is, oh, I've got one open here. After I was professionally whitened, they suggested that I do this three nights in a row. 
um, at home. So I went ahead and opened one of my vials here. And as you can see inside, there's like a little tiny brush with some bristles on it. I hope you can see that. You squeeze out the smallest amount and you literally paint all the teeth that show. And you try to avoid your gums. You just paint it on very quickly after you apply the balm on the soft tissue of the inside of your mouth and on your mouth. You take this just like this and it just fits in your mouth just like this. And you hold it there for eight minutes. But what you do is you turn on this light. Now hopefully it turns on there for me. There it is. So you turn on this light and it it's for eight minutes. It literally will turn off in eight minutes. So you walk around the house, do whatever you have to do, just having this sit right in your mouth and afterwards you're done. So that's the beauty of this. This is a really, really fast process. And I did that for three nights in a row. All the while you're doing this, of course, you wanna use a straw while you're drinking coffee. You want to avoid eating like blueberries, drinking wine uh, without a straw um, and things like that. And you keep this plugged in all the time. Uh, Brilliance has always worked well for me. Crest, like Brilliance, like any of the 3D whiteners, toothpastes have just really been really good. I feel like they've really helped with staining and things like that. But this is actually purple, uh, a purple, a purple toothpaste. And um, if you know anything about hair or the color wheel or anything like that, I'm a hairdresser. So with the color wheel, if you have any kind of yellow in the hair. You use purple to negate the yellow and it kind of neutralizes it. And so that's the same idea. So if your teeth are yellow or have staining, this purple negates the yellow. And the second one I will use just as a regular toothpaste is the Stain Eraser. And this is Icy Clean Mint. Um, I got it in the value pack, it's brand new. I got it yesterday, but um, I really do like the 3D white um, toothpaste. And that's what I do to kind of keep my teeth white. From time to time, I will do like a series of this whitening on myself. And um, I think it looks really good. Like I said, I'm a coffee drinker and I think it looks really good. So with the Invisalign, I'm hoping that what will happen is um, I do feel like it's a little bit, uh, I feel like it's a little, my teeth are a little shorter on this side. They need to come out of my gums a little bit more. And I'm thinking that that is going to be what some of the finessing that he's talking about is gonna be. And also I had a really stubborn tooth here. So, um, but I had to have that, you know, wire wrapped, different things for this particular tooth here. Um, and that one is still the one that's the tiniest bit out of alignment of the with, with the rest of the teeth. Um, so I hope that that is what he means by finessing some of the teeth with the invisible. I hope that you were able to, um, you know, glean some information from this video and I'm gonna keep you updated because things are going on with the teeth now, right? So I got the brackets off, now it's time for Invisalign and I hope to be able to impart a little bit of information to you and remember I have a whole playlist of my journey um, with braces and then there's a little bit of a gap in videos in my playlist because I didn't want to keep repeating the same things. I mean, it was just going and getting tightened, going and getting tightened. And there's just a little bit of tweak here and there, but really nothing to kind of share. I don't want to be redundant in these videos. I want to get to the point, get the information you're looking for. So if you have any questions at all, there's a lot of information in those other videos, but please don't hesitate to reach out and ask me a question because I'd love to um, interact with you guys and let you know, um, you know, try to give you the answer the best I can, okay? And then things that I don't know, I can always ask my ortho. He has been the best orthodontist around. I'm so, so tickled that I found my orthodontist. And let me just tell you, this Invisalign journey, and now he's putting on Invisalign, I don't have to pay anything else. I did have to pay for the whitening, and that was a little bit of an investment, but I figured I needed to be whitened. I really did after braces, so anyway. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you got some information out of this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, right now is the time to hit the red subscribe button. I'd love to have you join this community of women. We have a lot of fun around here. Until next time, God bless you.